Hello, fabulous fifth graders. Today's lesson is on patterns. Our I can statement is, I can analyze patterns and explain the relationship between two different sets of terms. Most of us are probably familiar with patterns, but we're going to learn a little bit more about explaining the relationship between two different patterns. Let's begin with an example. Mary and her friends find a four-leaf clover during lunch. A four-leaf clover has four leaves. The table shows the total number of leaves for several four-leaf clovers. Extend the pattern to find the next three terms. So here in our table, we can see that one four-leaf clover would have four leaves. Two four-leaf clovers would have eight leaves. Three would have 12, four, 16. To analyze the pattern, you can see what is the difference between two terms. To turn four into eight, or eight into 12, or 12 into 16, you would need to add four. Each term in the sequence can be found by adding four to the previous term. Now, let's look and see if we can extend the pattern to find the next three terms. 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 plus 4 would be 24. And if we add on 4 from there, 24 plus 4 is 28. So the next three terms are 20, 24, and 28. Let's try another example. Maria and Yong are training to run a half marathon. A half marathon is about 13 miles. Their weekly training plans are shown in the table. Use the information to write a sequence to represent each person's weekly training plan. Then compare the plans. So let's see what we've got. Maria will start her training plan running two miles, and then we'll add two miles per week for each of the next four weeks. Young will begin his training plan with four miles and add four miles per week for each of the next four weeks. Each week, Maria will run two more miles and Yang will run four more miles than the previous week. Write a sequence with five terms for Maria's training plan. When I look back here, I see she begins with two. And my rule is to add two. My next term would be four. When I add two more, I get six. Add two more, I get eight. And when I add two more, I get 10. That's five terms in my sequence. So I'm finished with Maria. Now I'm going to write a sequence to represent Yang's training plan. Yang will begin with four miles. And his rule is to add four each week. So the second week, he would run eight, then 12 then 16, then 20. Now I have a sequence with five terms to represent Yang's training plan. But now they ask me to compare the training plans. Well, let's see. Let's look at what they have in common. Maria begins with two and adds two each week. Yang begins with four and adds four each week. For week one, Maria has two, Yang has four. For week two, Maria has four, Yang has eight. Week three, six, and 12. The difference between these two training plans is always times two. Two 
2 times 2 gives me 4. Well, 4 times 2 gives me 8. When I compare the training plans, I can see that each week, Yang plans to run 2 times, or you could write twice, as many miles as Maria. Let's try one more example where we compare two sets of terms. In January, Olivia has $128 in her savings account. She adds $26 into the account each month. In January, Rashid has $280 in his savings account, and he withdraws $12 each month. Show the amount of money that each person will have in their savings account after each month up to June. And during which month will they have the same amount? There's a lot going on in this question. We're going to have to organize our answers. I know that I'm going to have to find a sequence, a pattern for Olivia's bank account, and a pattern for Rashid's bank account. I know that I'm going to have to find how much money they have each month from January to June. I'm going to set up a table to organize my work. Okay, now I have a system to organize my work so I can really figure things out. I know that in January, Olivia had $128. And each month, she adds $26 to her account. So that means in February, she would have $154. In March, she would have $180. In April, she would have 206. In May, 232. And in June, 258. Now Rashid started in January with $280. But instead of adding money to his account, he withdraws or subtracts $12 each month. So that means in February, he would have 268. In March, 256. Subtract 12 more to find April, 244. Subtract 12 more to find May, 232. And subtract 12 more to find June, 220. Now I can tell in which month they will have the same amount. In May, they will both have $232 in their account. So they will have the same amount of money in May. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. Our topic has been patterns. Our I can statement is I can analyze patterns and explain the relationship between two different sets of terms. Go ahead and press pause if you need a moment to write this down on your whisk. This is our summarizing question. I want you to explain in complete sentences how are the sequences 2, 5, 8, 11, and 2, 6, 18, 54, how are they alike and how are they different? 
You will need at least two complete sentences to answer this question. Go ahead and press pause at this time if you need to write this down or some more time to answer the question. Finally, this is the Q section of our WISC. This is the question, the practice problem you will be solving. An amusement park offers discounted tickets after 4 p.m. Both ticket prices are shown to the right in the table. Write the total costs of one, two, three, and four tickets for each time period. Compare the cost of four tickets before 4 p.m. and four tickets after 4 p.m. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with when you come to class.